Now, today officially marked a significant milestone for the matric class of 2024 and the country at large as the National Senior Certificate exams began this morning. Now, in light of this, Soweto TV News visited one of the high schools in Soweto, the Umshugandambo Secondary School in Pimville, to understand how day one of the exams unfolded. The school's department head and public relations office, uh, Pula Lahane, has confirmed a smooth exam start. Tlahane adds that the school has played its part in preparing the pupils for the exams and that the ball is now in their court. Ukuba lwa kwenzu uku ezi ya kwimvi wazo kupela konya kaze banga le shume le nesbi ni kufike le lesipelwe ni jengo uba na mtlanja bafundi bepali sengo kusesi kweni uku kopela imvi wazabo. Iskolo sama banga paga mileyo emshuka ntambo si tisikala ezi mvi wazo kulunge le uku zikopela. We are more than ready. What we've been doing is the school learners would attend morning classes, afternoon classes, would use previous year's question papers just to ensure that they are well, well, well prepared. Over and above that, what we would do, the department had organized extra classes for our last learners. Uh, they attempted tempted last push so learners would attend and then learners who were not doing that well classes were organized for them by the department camps were organized for them by the department and as the school what we've already done was that throughout the course of the year we've been organizing uh, camps for our learners they would be there over the weekend we would prepare them so we just want to wish them today as they start to with English, and I know that they're going to age the papers. Our wish is that class of 2024 give us a better percentage, and we're hoping that Houghton province this year will be number one. That's what we're rooting for. Jengo baba fundi bekala ngokse sikuwe ni ukupala namsha nje ingo bozo kukobi sa kwezi skolo zisa kukobeka ukuteni seki sa ukubaba fundi ba beta ngesa nje sifana yote ba kibe ukupala. This coming week, we will be hosting all our matriculants here at school. For the next coming three, four weeks, they will be sleeping here at school. We're going to turn their center into a dormitory. We will be teaching them in the morning, just be, um, I mean, revising with them in the morning, uh, during, uh, after they've written, even late in the evening. Basically, we're more than ready. And our wish is that all parents should support their learners, particularly during this uh, time. Matriculants are stressed, you can uh, understand some, they just, some feel that, um, you know, they want to go and write, but they say, will I make it? And we keep on saying, definitely, you've made it for the past 11 years. Umpati sawe sebe le mfundo se seko si viwe kwa khobe nge tuba le ndibano nonondaba ipito lingekawe. Ute ise belitate ama nyatelo kuseleko angingo kutuina infezeko ye mvio. Kwa kusebenzi sana ni komiti ya misebenzi ya tlangeneyo ya sizwe. Ukukuka ni komiti ya misebenzi ya tlangeneyo ya pondo. Kuinda baza soweto TV ni ngunu mzabala zo mtuka epi mvio. Let's stay with the story. Grade 12 learners of Umshugandambo Secondary School, they share their experience and their excitement for the examination. They say that they are ready to break a leg. I'm ready. I mean, it's been 12 years since um, starting at school, so I'm more confident. And I'm really proud that I've made it this far. So I'm really glad that I'm finally fi finishing at school. So overall, like, I'm joyous. Um, this is a part or this is a defying moment where um, I'm, I'm able to change um, home situa my home situation, so the ball is in my court now. I've been waiting for this day, but at the same time, I haven't been waiting for this day. I've been dreading this moment, thinking about my final exam, that this is the day where I have to actually put in the work, the work that I've been working on, and actually seeing myself going somewhere. So it's the start of a new life for me. I'm kind of happy that I made it this far. At least I made myself proud. I made my parents proud. I made people who think that uh, I wouldn't make it, you know, especially my enemies, that I made it. And um, I should be happy. And I'll, I might say it's, it's a special day for me. It's my first final exam. And um, I'm grateful that I was able to, to stay strong, be patient, and study hard until I made it to grade 12. And for every metric, I might say, um, 
and we just have to put more work and fulfill our dreams next year and make our parents happy but mostly ourselves on this day the one thing that i'm really looking forward to is writing very well with a smile on my face i want to sit down on that table and just recollect of all the things that i've went through this year i am grateful for the teachers i mean they've been giving us extra lessons even though it was an inconvenience for them because they've been through thick and thin for us, they've been doing all these things ensuring that we get success 